Noobcast. Greetings, fellow noobs. Welcome to another Noobcast. This is Blomus. We have a 1v1 here on Cloud Kingdom. Another Cloud Kingdom game. Not too bad. I like this map. It's pretty. Here we've got Eve Jolteon. Eve Jolteon. Evejolteon. I think it's just Eve Jolteon. That's basically... That's all we can say. Is it Eva team or is it just Jolteon? Who cares, man? Doesn't matter. His opponent, none other than Tazarinex. That's right, suckers. Tazarinex always sends me good games. So he gets cast a lot, guys. <laughs> and he's a good Protoss player. It was fun to watch. Uh, Knight also. Good Protoss player. Fun to watch. Sends me good games. Um, the guys who you see on here most often are on here most often because they consistently send in good games. If you, too, would like to be a consistent game submitter, please send, oops, your baller replays to newcast at gmail.com, or I will gladly send them to my screener who will tell me whether or not they suck. If they don't suck, I will cast them for you. And you can tell all your friends and send them out and have a good time and party like a rock star. Or not, that's cool, too. I don't know about you guys, been playing some Diablo lately, having some fun with that. Um, actually for the first time maybe ever since um, I've played video games or watched games on YouTube I've been doing some uh, um, I've been watching some Let's Plays you know it's actually it's a very good thing to be able to do when you know there's a game out that uh, you probably would like to play but either you're not going to have money for it or you know um, you're just never going to get around to it, you know? So, uh, you know, you just watch somebody else play it in little chunks of time here and there. And one of the guys, um, I found a, a group of guys who do some group Let's Play, and it's pretty fun. I, I've enjoyed watching them. It's called The Media Cows. They're on YouTube, The Media Cows, all one word. And uh, if you look them up, they've got a lot of fun games. They did a Prototype 2 playthrough. They did uh, I Am Alive. I watched that recently, which is a new uh, PSN or a new Xbox arcade game. Um, they also they're in the middle of a Max Payne 3 warp, uh, warp, and they also do some streaming as well. Just want to let them let you guys know about them in case you're looking for some funny guys to. Uh, get behind and watch play some games you might not otherwise be able to play as we see to Zarenex doing the classic forge fast expand here on cloud kingdom the standard build for protoss and you can see to Zarenex blocked off this natural uh and so the zerg player immediately going to expand to the third where to Zarenex is trying to cannon him off um, which the pylon is going to finish. Will Tazarinex try to put a cannon down? Yes, he will. And more lings coming out here. And another pylon going down. And a third pylon going down. And a queen coming out as well. So the cannon will finish before... Um, the question is, will it be alive and useful? It doesn't look like it. Tazarinex would be smart. Yeah, cancel all that stuff. Nice job. So the uh, the expansion is going to get down. He can go and kill this and expand again at his leisure. Tazarinex completing the wall off, getting a zealot out. And he will be on his way. Is he going to get the probe? He's, yes, going to get the probe. Oh. Oh. Didn't have to try too hard, I guess. Cybercore down for Tazarinex, getting uh, gases up and running here, just churning out probes. And we we'll have to see where we're going to go from here. Eve Jolteon getting his third down, which you've got to do as a Zerg. I think I say this every PVZ I've uh, ca ever casted. You've got to get keep your economy ahead of your opponent. And especially now that Protoss is, are doing uh, expand first builds, you've got to uh, do the same and get a double expand out. 
I'm surprised that Tazarenex is going to be moving out here. I thought he might be slightly tempted to stay at home. Though he's making another zealot to close this wall off. So he can be moving out with his units. Going to watch the tower, see some lings running around. I don't know what just happened there. We have a couple more gateways going down. Three more gateways going down, so we're going to have four. I'm sure that we're going to add at least two more, if not some other kind of tech. Maybe a robo. Maybe a stargate. Wouldn't that be fun? Tazarenix getting his plus one upgrade. Going to lose that zealot. Stalker getting out of dodge. Ling's coming around from three different directions. Interestingly, going to try and cut off that Stalker. Not quite fast enough. Speed just about three, uh, two-thirds of the way finished. The Stalker is going to make it back. So Lings are going to pull off. Very happy for how good Tazarenix has gotten. I remember back just after beta, after launch, when Noobcast was just getting started that Zernix and I used to play each other when we were both in Gold League. He has gotten out of Gold League. I have not. <laughs> All these Lings are going to die, but they're going to take a considerable number. I mean, all the Zelts are going to die. They're going to take a considerable number of Lings with them, but not enough. And this Pylon, yeah, this Pylon's going to go down before those three Lings finished. So we have two economies that are up and running with minimal harassment more pylons going down for Taz he does have his observer coming out and Evo chamber going down for Eve Jolteon a second at the main as well as a macro hatch Roach Warren is up and speed being researched so we should could see a see it becomes a critical time here for the Protoss he hasn't done really anything to harass. Um, he did now, he is now getting up a bunch of gates. Now we're looking at um, seven gate blink stalker. Is that what we're going to be seeing here? Eight gate blink stalker. Um, the problem with that, I mean, it's a good. It's going to be a good build. The problem with that is at this point now, the Zerg player off three bases with roaches and speed can basically non-stop pump out a butt ton of roaches and literally overrun the Protoss army. Um, you definitely need some immortals out. Blink, three quarter, almost finished now. Um, and we do have Burrow researching and plus one for both uh, range and carapace for the Zerg player. So this is going to be a tough spot here for Tazarenix. I think he's going to need to do a little bit more teching or make a huge number of immortals. Three more gates. That's going to be 11 gates off of two bases plus a, a robo. He's making more observers. I'm not sure how I feel about this build. A lot of sentries, so you're going to have a lot of force fields. And sentries can, when uh, needed, they can do, when you have a lot of them, they can do their fair share of damage. And Tazarenik's going to close off this front so he can go ahead and take his third. And Eve Jolteon... Um, opting to move out now with this uh, what is considering his potential a small number of roaches uh, he can probably easily double this amount if we take a look at the units we can see well, he doesn't really have that many I thought he'd have a lot more larva he does have his spire finishing so he could be going for some mulisks right away we do have more lings coming out as well as roaches and but the roaches went up they broke the rocks down opening up that way for a wider range of attack 
nothing coming up through the third. Lots of cannons going down, which is something you definitely want to do. Particularly, very nice force fields by Tazarinex. You notice, he, I mean, you're just creating lanes that are forcing your enemy to walk through those lanes and get killed by cannons. You gotta like it. Gotta like it. And you notice, uh, I wonder if he has, he doesn't have these on a separate hotkey. I thought he might have those four on a separate hotkey. And here comes all of the Zerg army. Nice wall. Gonna be able to take down these Zerglings. Wow. Excellent, excellent play. There's the burrow, though. And these guys gonna be able to move out. Still gonna lose all of these Zerglings. Um, very nice force field. Tazarnix has excellent, excellent force fields the majority of the time. I don't know if you guys can hear Stargirl moaning in the background. <laughs> Being silly. Just playing. Loves to pretend. More Roaches coming out. More Zerglings. Big army here. Eve Joltian has a significant food lead here over to Zaranex. About 50 food. More Stalkers coming out for to Zaranex. Um, four Immortals. We still... He is, however, on uh, working on plus three attack, which is just about halfway done here. And... Oh, totally uh, just cordoning off of these units and these immortals uh, just doing sick damage to these roaches. And they were not really able to get in and do much of any damage. Uh, you can see Tazarinex lost maybe a unit or two there in that exchange, but uh, Eve Joltian lost about 25 food. But. Eve Jolting's still quite a bit ahead, still working on a 30 food lead. And he is uh, obviously re upping a lot more lings, a lot of roaches. Surprised he's not, he made the spire. Is he just going for, yep, he's got his hive tech up. He is going for the greater spire. So he's just skipped mutas entirely and is going for. There's getting a surround though on this army. This is not looking good for Tazarinix. He needs some force fields. Um, blinking back away from his immortals letting them deal the damage to these roaches but here they come around the side and it looks like Tazarinex is going to lose all of these immortals and down they go and um, that trade definitely went in Eve Joltian's favor both of these guys running quite a uh, Trust fund here. Tazarinex trying to get his Colossus tech out here, making his first Colossus now. Warping in some zealots to tank some damage, and hopefully he's got enough force fields. It looks like he's got plenty. Lots of energy here, and Eve Joltian gonna actually pull back now. And he's got corruptors out. The Greater Spire has popped, so he's gonna be making brood lords any second now. That zealot, not going to be very happy. And the fourth up and nearly running for Eve Jolteen, going to be transferring some drones plus dropping some spines. And a screaming little girl in the background. No defensive upgrades for Tazarinex, yet his opponent is on 3-3, and he's getting a plus 2 upgrade for his flyers, so he's... <laughs> I'm sorry. Stargirl just said, called, referred to something as dastardly, <laughs> which is very funny to me. This is a lot of Stalkers. Xernix Max now with just two Colossus and all Stalkers. Uh, he's got quite...
quite a few force fields as well. So if he's able to catch some of these units, and he is just chasing them down, four broodlords coming out, four Eve Joltian. Uh, with the Blink Stalkers, four broodlords is not enough. You're going to need more. Going to need more. And they are about to pop here. Is he going to get under these? Yes, he's going to kill one at least before it even pops. And the force fields and colossus taking down a lot of these roaches. Looks like they're going to take one down. Corruptors are going to die. Still a lot of roaches in here. and Still plenty of force field energy for the Xeranex. And... It, he has just about evened up the uh, the food here. Supply, I'm sorry. So Xeranix doing a very good job. Going to take down this fourth, and he is at the same time expanding, which exactly was, which is exactly what I was about to say. I hope he takes another base while he's kicking some butt, denying the fourth here. But there is already another base over here for E. Joltian, and. Uh, Oh, he's looking in, chasing after these stalkers, trying to take them down, trying to snipe some of these colossi with these units, and now moving in with lots of roaches, but being forced to move back out uh, as E. Joltian immediately remaxed. Actually, got some banelings in here. Um, surprised, not surprised to see them, but surprised there's not more of them. Banelings actually a very uh, good idea late game PVZ because they can roll through stalkers, especially if as Tezerenix has uh, they are not very well upgraded. So banelings could do quite a bit of damage, but only one in the group here, and we do have still more force fields. So again. Uh, Xeranix able to cordon off some of that army and take it down. But here is yet a, another base going down for E. Joltian. The fourth for Xeranix up. Cannoned in. We have a lot of uh, creep being spread here by E. Joltian. You gotta be pretty impressed by all the creep spread that's happening. Plus three attack being started, Baneling speed, melee attack level two, more immortals coming out for Tzaranex. Um Not making Colossus, which he's got three. I guess he configures that's going to be enough, which uh, I kind of agree. And completely splits the army in half. Probably going to lose one Colossus. Uh, all of these roaches just getting roasted does lose one Colossus, but man, that definitely favored Tzaranex. For the first time in this game, Tzaranex has taken the supply lead. We'll see if he can hold on to it as uh, Eve Joltian um, just out of money. He doesn't have the money to use all of his larva, and who knows how much larva he has. He's got not that much, not that much. We've got 77 probes of 62 drones, which is very nice for Tzaranex, uh keeping ahead in the economic game, but behind in several bases, so uh, he really needs to get on top of things if he wants to keep that uh, slight advantage. It's a big advantage in numbers, but not in bases, so I will, if you can tell, though, he's uh, pulling in quite a bit more than his opponent. Stargirl complaining outside of my door about who knows what. It's my cup. It won't even open. Well, then you should ask for help. I couldn't. Why not? Here you go. Because I was scared. Scared of what? If you would yell. I wouldn't yell at you. <laughs> not for Goodbye, that. Goodbye, everyone. I just had to get some water. See you later. <laughs> Alligator. <laughs> Lots of banelings. Now Eve Joltine has the idea. He's going to be able to roll through this army, although he, his plus two is finishing up now. But the mothership is out, so he could potentially 
just suck all those banelings right into that. Although I don't know if you want to do that. I don't know what the protocol was is for late game banelings in a PVZ. I guess we're gonna find out. But we've got three brood lords out, four more morphing. Make that five. Although he probably could have finished killing the observer before he did that. And the observer, man, observer speed makes observers fast. Look at that. Yet another one. Seven brood lords now morphing. That's a lot of banelings. And I was wrong, by the way. In the previous game, I mentioned that uh, my color mod might be might have changed, but definitely not. You can tell by looking at these banelings that it is still very much in effect. Mothership out. Is going to get caught? No going to take out a base. That wasn't really mining, so it doesn't really affect it, but Tzaranex, of course, if you didn't notice, has a fifth base. Both guys are maxed. Oh, we're going to get a Vortex. We're going to get a Vortex. going to get a Vortex. There's Vortex. Half of the Broodlords getting sucked in. He only has three... Archons. So if he's going to get him in there, he's got to get him in there now. And he is killing, look at that, all of those Banelings died via Colossus. And not enough Archons to do the damage he wants, but enough Stalkers to do quite a bit. And the Colossus still in the back, killing all kinds. Oh, but the Mothership goes down, and uh, Eve Jolting able to keep quite a few broodlords and you saw the queens back here they were there doing uh transfusing the queens though not fast enough this time trying to transfuse as fast as they can but losing all the broodlords Xeranix able to blink out and uh, things still pretty even uh, doesn't appear as though I think E. Joltian is like, this is it, man. This is my army. He's got one base mining over here, one base mining over here, but everything else is mined out. Tazaranix is mining here and here and just a little bit there. So it's basically two bases on two bases. But uh, Tazaranix has a little bit of money, whereas E. Joltian does not have all that much to speak of. We're going to see how this plays out. It looks like Eve Joltian now, uh, but the, you know, supply very even again. No corruptors though. We do have a couple of infestors. Colossus. Oh, two more Colossus coming in from the side. Going to be very helpful. Eve Joltian not focusing them, not doing any kind, but look at the concave of Tazaranex and he is just melting these units between the Colossus and the Stalkers. It's just going to be no contest. The Stalker is going to come in here, take down these Corruptors. They're not going to be able to morph. And I think we're going to see a GG from Eve Jolteon very shortly. There it is. And Eve Jolteon leaves the game. Very well fought game. I thought this was a uh, very solid PVZ. And the a, a PVZ that in which... The Archon Toilet, though used, was not as effective, and the Protoss player still came out on top. So, uh, very nice job by Tazaranex. Hope you guys enjoyed that game. I sure did. Keep climbing that ladder. Send your replays, newcast at gmail.com. See you next time.